Today, guys, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks in Grand RP. Once again, I always apologize if you guys hear any dogs in the background. But anyways, to start things off, right when you load into the city, you will see this screen. Play for four hours, get $55,000. Now, I always recommend that you go and change this investment. If you know that you're going to play in the city for one hour, always set it to the one hour investment because it guarantees you the money. If you know that you're going to play for eight hours today, always set it to the eight hour investment because it's just free money. The best part is you don't need to invest any of your own money to do this. All you need to do is play the game. So let's say every day you're playing for five hours and let's say you did that for an entire month. That's an extra $2.2 million you would make just from playing the game. And on top of that, of course, you're also playing the game, making money and doing whatever in the city. So I would always recommend changing that. And it's one of the best tips I can give you. And don't forget, you could also do the long-term investments at the exact same time that you're doing the daytime investments. Do a daytime investment every day, set up a long-term investment. And by the time the long-term investment is up, you made a bunch of money in the city. You made a bunch of money from the daytime investments and you got money from the long-term investments. I would highly recommend it. And of course, you could change it whenever you want. Let's say you pick the one hour one, but then you want to change it later to the three hour one. You can, but your progress will be reset. So really think about how long you're going to be playing in the city each day, set it to that, and get your free money. This next tip is extremely useful for anybody that plays Grand RP in 4K. If you have a 4K monitor, it's super useful. Take a look at this screen right here. You can see I'm filling up gas, and it looks normal, right? But then if I go to settings, and I go over to the graphics settings, you're going to see what my graphics settings are set to. It's one below 4K. It still looks the exact same, but there's a good reason why I do this. As you guys are going to see now, when I go to fill up gas again, this screen becomes so much smaller and it's really annoying because Grand RP is not meant to be played in 4K. It's meant to be played in 1080p. That's how the whole game is set up. So whenever I play in 4K, all of the UI, I guess, around the city at gas stations, at 24-7 stores, or anytime I talk to an NPC, it's always so much smaller and it gets really, really annoying because then you have to move closer to your screen to see it. But if you just downgrade your graphics by one level, which also does save a lot of memory as well, so it'll help reduce lag, you'll be able to see everything a lot easier. You'll get a higher FPS rate. And honestly, it just feels better while you're playing it. And the graphics still look the exact same. Now, this is what I play on all the time now, just because it gets really annoying. It especially happened when I first started playing in the city. It was terrible. Now, of course, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in 1080p because this is what the game is meant for and this is what it looks like to most people and it does not look good. Like, I do not like the look of this, but I would highly recommend if you guys play 4K video games, you play GTA 5 in 4K, I would highly recommend just downgrading the resolution by one and you'll see the difference it'll make. The game will feel so much better while you're playing it and, you know, everything won't be so tiny. This next tip can save you guys millions of dollars. You guys can see the time in game right now, 1839. Every single time a new hour starts, you get a couple different rewards and money. If you guys are about to stop playing the game for the day, always check what time it is in game because if you don't do this, then you're just going to lose out on a couple different things. For example, if it's the exact time it is right now for you in game, 1839, you might as well just wait another 20 minutes because you'll get a bunch of stuff. If you have a job, you're going to get paid. If you're working as a taxi driver or a truck driver, you get paid every hour, not right away. So if you just quit the game, you're pretty much letting go of a bunch of free money. That's not the only thing you get, of course. You also get these things called grand points and if you didn't know what they were you can get a bunch of different cool stuff with them like mclaren crates maserati crates and some clothes crates you could open these crates and try to get an awesome car or you could sell each crate for like ten thousand dollars and every time a new hour starts you get some grand points so that's another thing that you're missing out on if you fly out of the city before the hour resets and of course you also get xp for a new player this is beneficial for you guys to join orgs and do other stuff in the city plus you can also complete achievements by leveling up every single hour you get xp just by playing the game so if you fly out just before the next hour starts you're losing out on all of this type of stuff of course if it's like 15 minutes past or something like that then obviously fly out of the city you don't really need to wait around for 45 minutes and of course if you really need to leave then just leave but you can also just stand there being afk and you will still get some rewards if you enter sleep mode you won't be paid you won't receive grand points but you will still receive xp and if you have unpaid fines you won't receive any money obviously because it'll go towards the fines you won't receive any grand points because you have fines but you will still 
still get XP. So pay them fines off and just stay in the city until the next hour starts because you know, you're just throwing away money, especially if you were working as a truck driver or a taxi driver where every hour you get paid. It's really beneficial. This next tip is great if you're looking for a place to live. You want to buy a house or you want to buy an apartment. You go on the auction every day, you see new houses and new apartments, but the issue with the auction is it's always going to sell for more than it's actually worth. If you purchase a house for $20 million and then a couple weeks later you try to sell it off, you might be lucky to get that $20 million back, but of course there's also taxes which get taken off, so you're going to lose money no matter what, and most of the time if you buy something off auction and try to sell it right after, it won't sell for the value that you just got it for. That's just the way it works, because everybody's bidding on it, and obviously some people are going to try and boost it up as much as they can because they're mad that you're getting the house and they're not. I don't know. It's a little confusing, but 90% of the time, whatever you buy on the auction will end up selling for less than what you paid for it if you bought it from the auction. Now, you guys saw where I just set my waypoint. That is called the auction house. Now, a lot of people don't even know what this place actually is. The auction house is a place you can go to to rent houses to people, sell houses to people, or even list up your own houses if you wanted to. It'll also show the houses that are on the auction as well. Now I've actually gone here on two separate occasions and I purchased a house for $1.2 million and I bought an apartment a while back and I have no idea how much I got it for but I ended up giving it to my friend for free. But I always go here because you can tend to find pretty decent deals on houses and apartments. If people are trying to get rid of their house or apartment really quickly and they don't have the time to find somebody in the city to do it, they can just come over here, list it up, and hope somebody buys it, as long as it's set up for a decent price. Like I said, I bought a house in the ghetto near Beach Market for $1.2 million, and a couple days later I actually sold it to one of my friends for $1.8 million, so I did actually make a bit of money off of that, which was awesome. Some people will end up overvaluing their houses on here, so you kinda gotta know what to look for. But some decent deals, if you can find a house for under $2.5 or $2.4 million, I have to say, that is honestly a pretty good deal, because most houses on auction right now go for well over $3 million, and apartments tend to go for about $6 million. So some people will list their apartments up for a ton of money, and this one right here, this is a brand new apartment that somebody's selling for only $5 million. Honestly, that's not too bad of a deal. You can obviously set the point to the house, you can see that right next to the buy button there, and you can go and take a look at it. And like I said, if their door is unlocked, you can go and take a look inside. And sometimes, they'll have nice custom interiors, and if you get lucky, people will leave their stuff in their warehouses. And if you end up purchasing the house, then everything in that warehouse is yours. So the people that end up losing their houses because they forget to pay for them, they go on auction. And everything in the warehouse also goes to the auction, but nobody knows what's in the warehouse. So sometimes you can get really lucky, and who knows, maybe you'll find a marshmallow mask in there worth $70 million. You never really know what you could find. But if you're looking to purchase a house or an apartment, I would always recommend heading over to the auction house and seeing if you can find any good deals. Currently, right now, if you're watching this video right when it's released, if you can find an apartment for under $5 million in the auction house, buy it right away, and you can go and sell it and make some profit. I just saw this house in the auction house there, and it was selling for $26 million, so I wanted to go take a look at it. I flex E on the door, and you can see he actually has his house open. If it says close right there, you can actually enter their home and take a look around. And when I actually went in, they had a custom interior, which I believe was worth about five hundred or seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is honestly pretty nice. It's one of my personal favorite interiors, and of course, you can customize it as well. And they might have also purchased some furniture that you can't really know about unless you talk to the owner. Now, let's say you like the house, but twenty-six million is a little bit too much for you. If you can figure out the name of the person that's selling it, like I did, I just set a waypoint to the house, and then I looked at who owned it when I flexed my e-muscle on the door, it said Junior John. So what I could do is go onto the ad section right over here, and then I could just post an ad, and I'm gonna say looking for Junior John, and then if he responds, we can have a quick chat or meet up in the city somewhere, and see if we can negotiate a better deal. Maybe I only want to pay 24 million for the house, he says, you know what, let's meet in the middle at 25, and then bada bing bada boom, the deal is done. You never know, he could have purchased the house off auction, most likely for like 30 million dollars if you did it recently. So like I said, if you're looking for a house or an apartment, check out the auction house. The final tip I can give you guys is download network graphics. It is 100% worth it and it's completely free. I already made a video on this so I'm going to leave a link down below in the description on how to install it and I actually just found out that if you have GTA 5 via the Rockstar launcher, you will not be able to get this. This only works if you have GTA 5 on Steam or on the Epic Games Store. But I'm telling you guys, it is 100% worth it. You can get some awesome stuff. It just makes the game look so much nicer. You can get a custom map if you wanted to and make it a satellite image. 
And then you can just see everything in the city, and I absolutely love it. It looks beautiful. You can get realistic water, better clouds, better skies, and if you purchase the premium package, you can install some awesome graphic mods. That's why my game looks so much better than most people's games, because I installed an awesome ENB graphics mod. It looks absolutely stunning. You can get LA roads, custom streetlights, all that kind of crap. Like I said, the video link is down below in the description if you guys want to check it out, and you can also get some awesome weapon skins and so much more. I go into all the details in that video, so check it out if you're interested. Anyways, that is pretty much going to wrap the video up for today. If you guys want to see another episode of some tips and tricks that I could tell you in Grand RP to get rich and just some stuff you should probably know, let me know by dropping a like on the video. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.